Hello, Chemistry 20. This is our second lesson in the Solutions Unit. This is Concentration of Solutions. In this lesson, we will explore percent concentrations, parts per million, molar concentration, and we will go through seven examples. Percent concentrations. These are concentration values that are commonly used for consumer products. There are three actual percent concentrations. Percent by volume, percent by mass, and percent mass by volume. All are very, very similar. Note, it is always the solute amount divided by the overall solution amount. That is the same for each percent concentration. Percent by volume has the formula solute measured in milliliters divided by the overall solution in milliliters times 100%. The units for percent by volume are percent V divided by V. Percent by mass has the formula mass of the solute in grams divided by mass of the overall solution in grams times 100%. The units for percent by mass are percent W divided by W. W refers to weight. Percent mass by volume has the formula mass of the solute in grams divided by volume of the overall solution in milliliters times 100%. The units are percent W slash V. All of these formulas are very similar, and we can tell which formula to use by the units that are typically given in a question. Parts per million. This concentration value is used for very dilute solutions. Parts per million can have two formulas, depending on the units given. The mass of the solute in milligrams divided by the volume of solution in liters. The units are actually milligrams divided by liters but sometimes the units can also be expressed as ppm, parts per million. The other formula for parts per million is mass of the solute in milligrams divided by the mass of the overall solution in kilograms. The units for this formula are milligrams divided by kilograms, but also can it be expressed by ppm. And finally, the most important concentration measurement is molar concentration. This type of concentration is used for most chemistry calculations. The units for molar concentration are moles per liter. Therefore, our formula is the number of moles of the solute divided by the overall volume of the solution in liters. It is important to note that after this lesson, we will only focus on molar concentration. You will use molar concentration for the remainder of chemistry 20 and you will use it in chemistry 30. Example number one. If 5.0 grams of salt is added to water to make 65.0 grams of solution, what is the percent by mass? Pause the video and attempt this example. Okay, we know that we are trying to solve for percent by mass because it's given in the question. We can also identify that we're gonna solve for percent by mass because we're given the grams of the solute, salt, 
and also the grams of the overall solution. So remember, percent by mass is the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution times 100%. That would be 5.0 grams divided by 65.0 grams times 100%. As a result, our percent by mass is 7.7%. Example number two. Nail polish remover has a concentration of acetone that is 88% by volume. If you have 350 milliliters of nail polish remover, what is the volume of acetone? Pause the video and attempt this example. Okay, we know that 88% of the overall solution contains acetone. So we can first take the percent and convert it to a decimal. And we know that decimal 0 0.88 is equal to the amount of acetone divided by the volume of the overall solution. If we rearrange uh, this formula, we are left with X, the volume of acetone is equal to 0 0.88 times 350 milliliters. And as a result, the volume in milliliters of acetone in the solution is 3.1 times 10 to the second. Example number three. Water hardness is a measure of calcium ion concentration. The hardness of Calgary water is rated at 165 parts per million. What mass of calcium ions is found in five liters of Calgary water? Pause the video and attempt this example. We are working with parts per million. Therefore, we know 165 parts per million is equal to 165 milligrams per liter. Uh, we can then take the five liters of water and times it by the 165 milligrams over one liter. This cancels out our units of liters and as a result leaves us with the units of milligrams. In five liters of Calgary water there is 825 milligrams of calcium ions. Example number four. 0 0.50 moles of KCl is dissociated to produce 250 milliliters of solution. What is the molar concentration? Pause the video and attempt this example. Okay, we know molar concentration is the amount of moles divided by liters. So we can simply take uh, the 0 0.50 moles uh, potassium chloride and divide it by the overall volume of the solution in liters, so 0 0.250 liters. As a result, uh, the molar concentration of potassium chloride is 2.0 moles per liter. Something that's important to note is that these square brackets refer to molar concentration. So again, the square brackets refer to molar concentration. Example number five. How many moles are in 450 milliliters of a 0 0.400 moles per liter solution of sodium chloride? Pause the video and attempt this example. One thing to note is that moles per liter can be used for a unit conversion to go from moles to liters or vice versa from liters to moles. To find the number of moles of sodium chloride we have to start with the 450 milliliters. Uh, we can then convert it to liters by dividing it by 1000 milliliters. Once we have the liters we can then times it by the moles per liter. And as a result, liters will cancel out and our final unit will be left in moles. 
the amount of moles of sodium chloride in the solution is 0 0.180 moles. Example number six. A student is required to prepare 1.5 liters of a 2.0 moles per liter solution of lithium fluoride. What mass of lithium fluoride should the student measure out? Pause the video and attempt this example. Let's use the Chemistry 20 calculations chart to understand this process. We are starting with a volume of a solution. So here we have a volume of the solution. We can then use the concentration to go from liters to moles of lithium fluoride. Once we have the moles of lithium fluoride, we can use the molar mass of lithium fluoride to find the amount of grams required. So let's perform this calculation. First, we need the molar mass of lithium fluoride, which is 25.94 grams per mole. We are then going to start with the volume 1.5 liters and times it by the concentration 2.0 moles over one liter. As a result, our answer will now be in moles of lithium fluoride. We can then times our mole value by the molar mass of lithium fluoride to cancel out our units of moles. And as a result, our then end unit will be left in grams. If we perform this calculation, the amount of mass required of lithium fluoride to make the solution is 78 grams. Example number seven. A sample of river water contains 588 parts per million of dissolved sodium chloride. Calculate the molar concentration of sodium chloride. Pause the video and attempt this example. 588 parts per million actually means 588 milligrams per one liter. We can then convert the milligrams to grams by dividing by 1000. As a result, we have 0 0.588 grams per liter. We now have to convert the grams to moles. Uh, to do so, we need the molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.44 grams per mole. We can then take the 0 0.558 grams per liter and divide it by the molar mass, 58.44. This cancels out our gram value. As a result, our new unit will be moles divided by liters, which is molar concentration. The molar concentration of sodium chloride in the river water is 0.0. .0 101 moles per liter. Moving forward, we will explore ion concentration.